You said it died? Hey! Hey, how's it going? Excuse yourself. Perfect. My name is uh, Sam Monlick. I'm the VP of Sales at System76. I'm Jonathan Cooper, uh, Account Executive, System76. And what do we see here? So right here in front of you, you've got uh, our latest uh, Stelio Astro, based off of Ampere Ultra and Ultra Max CPU structure. Uh, the demo running currently is a uh, showcase of the 128 core, uh, 3 gigahertz frequency, all doing 3D Blender renders uh, in real time. Uh, it's moving from the render to the next. You'll see it jump from uh, the zero process as it resets into full 100% max load. Uh, and then these are a couple offerings of our, our Starling product line. Uh, so we are basically have a full stack of uh, Ultra, Ultra Max CPUs, uh, as well as Ampere One, all within the, uh, the Starling product line, uh, offering you a full development to deployment process. Uh, this is the uh, previous generation of our Penguin, the AMD product. Uh, but I've got actually our latest release that came out last week under here. So we've got our new Pangolin 16 inch 2K display from System76. Is that an Ampere CPU? This is not an Ampere CPU. So the uh, the Penguin is the new AMD, uh, what is it, the 7980H, I'm blanking on which version. It's AMD, yeah. So this is the, the AMD release. It was the updated to the, to the Penguin that you had asked here. This launched a couple weeks ago. Um, we do not have an ARM-based solution coming out yet. I know Jeremy meant... to make a chip for the laptop? Uh, it's been brought up in conversations, but uh, they are definitely more of a server-focused application. Um, but we've looked at a couple ARM-based uh, solutions and still keeping it as a an open research project at the moment. So in his video right there, he says it's the fastest ARM PC in the world. Is it? Uh, as of right now, it's benchmarked uh, faster than anything else in the uh, the desktop workspace with ARM. So based off of uh, Jeff Gearling's uh, review, the he's had it for the last two months, and it has outperformed in every category. And then, yeah, and this is showing the 3D Blender render with... So who's going to be using these? So the, uh, the product itself was designed in partnership with Ampere for the autonomous space, which is why we're showcasing here. Uh, but the overall applications are really limitless. Uh, anything that you're currently emulating on an x86 architecture uh, and then having to redeploy into a uh, cloud or data center uh, or onto an actual application can now be streamlined through on, uh, on hardware solution and improve overall performance and uh, give you a streamlined process from development to deployment. Is Ampere in here? Uh, yes, Ampere is in here as well. So uh, this solution is a uh, Pelican-based uh, travel on-the-go server that houses a uh, uh, Ampere uh, Ultra, Ultra Max, and uh, Ampere One. So we're starting to see some really. Uh, uh, some really good interest from defense, from high frequency trading, from healthcare, uh, looking into these ARM CPUs. Uh, so finding different ways to uh, create form factors that fit their application. Um, we're excited to get these out. It's like a luggage. Exactly. Yep. So yeah, so it allows for uh, secure individuals to take it on the go. Never losing line of sight with yep. your system. So there's some uh, pretty cool projects that require hardware. Yes. Hardware. Yes.
Yeah, uh, a lot of uh, the applications are endless. Uh, uh, the day-to-day -day use is becoming more and more uh, accessible to anyone really looking to use ARM. Uh, and development is being put into it on a, a much higher level uh, across the board from a lot of different suppliers. So uh, excited to see where it will go and uh, what it might be able to help change. And right here with a kind of like automotive event. Yep. So it's very relevant. Extremely relevant here, uh, especially with uh, data center usage, uh, people wanting to bring things back from uh, the cloud and running native, uh, being able to get uh, 128 cores, 500 gigs of memory, and an RTX 6000 ADA within a workstation uh, at only a thousand watt power supply uh, and extremely quiet uh, is really uh, peaking some interest overall. We're seeing uh, from a major automotive uh, manufacturer, uh, the ROI on one of these machines is uh, in as little as two months uh, saving versus their cloud expenditure. So uh, help and save a lot of money too.